welcome back to my birding channel. I'm here this morning at the Pasir Ris Park, here in the mangrove swamp of the Pasir Ris Park. The mangrove pita is the only resident pita in Singapore. As its name implies, it is found in the mangrove regions. However, due to development uh, in Singapore over the past years, the mangrove swamp around the coast of Singapore has been practically decimated so that now the mangrove pita can only be found at Pulau Ubin. It hasn't been sighted on the mainland of Singapore for the past decade. But just last year, at the end of the year, during the 2020 pandemic, a single mangrove pita was sighted here at the Pasiris Mangrove Swamp. The mangrove pita is currently found here around this shelter known as the Bakau Hut. It's right in the middle of the mangrove forest along the boardwalk. The mangrove pita might be anywhere around this big mangrove, but thankfully it has staked its territory beside the boardwalk, so spotting it could be quite easy. In making this video, I've returned to this mangrove a number of times and each time I've met birders looking for the mangrove pita and quite a number of them use bird calls to try and flush the pita out into the open. The use of bird calls is quite a controversial topic in the birding community. Some tolerate it, some are totally against it, while some prefer just to remain neutral. Just remember, wrongly used, bird calls can have an adverse effect on some species. For example, while some calls are used to attract a mate, other calls are used as territorial claims to exert dominance and might actually intimidate the hidden birds instead and serve to frighten it away. If you must use calls, please stop the moment the bird responds and cease the calls once you have identified the location.
Personally, I do not resort to using calls. But while I was here, I noticed some birders were even using the wrong calls. They were using the calls for the blue winged pita instead of the mangrove pita. I have an earlier video which explains the differences between the blue winged pita and the mangrove pita. Although they look and sound similar, there are distinct differences. You can go to this video at the link here or the links below. Thank you for watching my short video on the mangrove pita. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a like. If you would like to see more of my birding video, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell and you will be informed when my next video will be uploaded. Until I see you again in my next video, happy birding, stay safe and bye.